In Chad, the army celebrates victory. The soldiers have retaken control of the situation after the attack the rebels launched in the east of the country last week. In the town of Amswell, about 100 kilometers from the border of Chad with Sudan, thanks to superior means and to its combat helicopters, the army has inflicted heavy losses to the rebels. The soldiers say they have killed more than 160 rebels. Some have been made prisoners. Many are very young and some have been wounded. The rebels also claim to have inflicted losses to the army, but the army only recognizes four fatalities and about 50 injured. On the many trucks captured by the army, it is written AM for National Alliance, the name of the rebel coalition supported by Sudan. But this is a fragile alliance. The lack of coordination among the rebels is also a reason why the new attack has failed. After a week of intense media campaigning and after wandering some hundred kilometers around Abiche's main garrison, the enemy became trapped in Amzoa. The military column intercepted in Amzoa was destroyed. The few survivors that managed to escape on foot were collected by Sudanese troops on the other side of the border. Normal life has resumed in the capital, N'Djamena, but neither the government of President Deby nor the civilian population feel really secure. They know that after the rainy season, the rebels might attack again. <laughs>